Hello, I have been taking apart an iron recently, and I'd like to show you how an iron works. The first thing that we did near, when we started taking apart this iron was we, was we took off of this part, and we found a motherboard underneath. On this motherboard, the first thing I noticed was this was this large chip. Next thing I noticed was this capacitor. These little capacitors are pretty much little batteries that don't recharge. Then on the other side, I found all these little lead things that sent out messages along these thin light green lines which all communicate to the main power source, which is right here. The next thing we did after we took part, we took off that part, was we pried off this part. And this part would show to turn steam on and off and turn up the heat in the steam. At first, under that piece, there were two little black pieces and a gear with three switches. The little black pieces figured out eventually stacked one on top of the other and attached to the bottom of the um, amount of heat you chose. And we also found this little triple gear which attached to this gear right there right, the, no, which attached to this gear right here which would turn the steam on and off. After we took off that part, we pried off this middle part and figured out that this little piece right here would there's a little hole in there that if you turn it to the right direction you'll be able to see water trickle through and then the water would trickle through down below That and then after that we took off this entire part, and we found the heating element and where the water went. First, we figured out that the water went down through this hole, up forward, then it split and went left and right, then came up back through that thick outer layer, and go through these holes. Then, then we figured out how the heating element worked. First, it went in through this brown rope-looking wire. Then it went up to that little switch, that turning thing. If you had rotated it right, it would lower the panel, and it would close off the circuit. If you rotate it left, it opens the panel, and the, and the circuit will go past it, go over to this thin wire, head up, go around, go down, go up and back down and then leave through this wire. So you'd have a constant circuit traveling through the water. That's how you would heat up the iron. And that's how the steam would come out of the bottom. Of all those little holes on the bottom. So the steam would come out of those. That is what I figured out about the iron. And I hope you learned as much as I did when I took apart this iron.